Hello, Bravo Movie Club. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be talking about the movie Narnia Prince Caspian. So this is the second Narnia film. So to start off, a brief plot overview is that one year after their previous adventure, the Pevensey children re return to the magical land of Narnia to find that 1300 years have passed there. War has come to Narnia once again, and the children join forces with Kit Prince Caspian to overthrow the evil King Miraz and restore peace on the, to the land. So this is the, the second story. We get to meet Prince Caspian. They get back to Narnia, and then all of a sudden, they're, it's the entire land has changed. So much time has passed, because if you remember, time is weird in Narnia, and there's so many legends about the four kings and queens of Narnia who like saved Narnia from the evil white witch and everyone knows about them and then when they return hope is restored and now they're able to fight back against this evil king Miraz and restore peace. So here are some of the main characters. We have Lucy, cute as ever, with Edmund, Peter, and Susan, the four siblings that really come into their own. Um, we get to see King Miraz is, a, is the villain. He's a great villain. You never see him coming. Um, Aslan makes an appearance again. He is so magical. It is so fun to see him. Prince Caspian, aka the heartthrob of the movie, it's like it's an absolute king. Then we have Reepy Cheap, which is a new sort of character. He is a mouse that is so incredibly brave. And then we get Trumpkin, and he is a dwarf that helps them on their adventure. So my review of Prince Caspian, I would give it a nine out of 10. I loved the magical world and all the energy. I love the themes of independence, imagination, family, forgiveness, especially in this one, self-growth and even like sportsmanship, like just being able to play fair and to forgive and to do the right thing and to resist temptation. Those are all big themes in this movie. Um, some of the cons were that a lot of the action sequences were uh, and special effects were unrealistic, but they actually did a way better job on this film than they did in the first Narnia. Just because a little bit of time has passed, they're a little bit older, movies are more advanced, so anyway. And then there are some scary moments that are a bit intense for the, the age, the target age range of this movie. So you get to see them fail, and it is a little disheartening, but they bring it back, and the comeback is just 10 times better, so it's so worth it. So I hope you watch this movie and I hope you enjoyed this movie review.